All right, the stage is set for what should be a really good game one as this series gets underway. Introductions wrapping up down on the field. That first pitch just minutes away. From 41 Seaver Way, welcome to the home of the New York Mets. This is City Field, game one of the National League Championship Series. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers going up against the New York Mets. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Chambi. Game one is always critical in a postseason series singing. Yeah, and this is when you love having home field advantage, Boog. If you capture game one, you're full of confidence that you've got a chance to ride that momentum for the rest of the series. And on the visiting side, starting pitching is always the big key in a game like this to kick off a series. Yeah, you need a strong performance on the mound. That's the number one way to cancel out the home field edge we just mentioned. First pitch coming your way next. Back here in Queens, here's Justin Turner. So it's game one of the LCS, and they're going to be looking to this guy for more of his success like he had in the division series. Well, this team's got its sights set on the World Series. If they're going to get there, it's going to be because of his performance. Slapped foul. Scherzer winds, kicks, fires. Swing and a miss and a changeup in the dirt. In time to get him, one away in the strikeout. Now battle, the center fielder, Cody Bellinger. One down, there comes Cody Bellinger. Well, it's pretty clear that he was frustrated, and even he admitted as much with his performance in their last series, but now a chance to hit the reset button. That's one of the things he's going to have to get used to, being the superstar player in this lineup. They are going to pitch you very tough, and you make the adjustment, you can have success. I think you'll have it in this one. Next offering misses, and that's ball one. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. Next offering is downstairs. Pitch misses inside. Ball three. Well, these guys have had a hard time scoring in this one. The guy out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. Scherzer deals. Out towards left center. Canna pulls it down. Two down. Now back. Chris Taylor now. Fair to say he wasn't his typical self in the division series. Chris, I talked to the staff, and they are confident that he's going to deliver big here in the LCS. Yeah, you see these guys around him, and they know he's a stud, and they know. Ah, the throw in time to get him, and that does it for the inning. Dodgers down in order, and we are still scoreless. And welcome back. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. And now it's switch hitting third baseman Eduardo Escobar. He's a big, strong guy. Can untie this game with one swing. And the right hater back to work. That's off the mark, and it's one to know. Definitely a frustrating day for the offense, but when they look at it, this guy's had his best stuff. With painting the corners, working on the edges, and changing speeds. Just a difficult one. You tip your cap. The wind to kick the 2 0. There's the strike. Pretty rare location right there, right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. That one in for a strike, two and two. Boog, that hook's looking pretty sharp today. Just a solid pitching performance so far, and I really think it's because of that curveball. Two two down. Swing and a miss, and he's down on strikes. 
And there's one down. Went right after him with that two strike pitch as he continues to roll on the mound. Yeah, he's not out there trying to nibble at all. He is attacking the strike zone. And I think when your confidence builds as the start goes on, still putting up all zeros on the scoreboard, gives you a lot of confidence that you can really continue to go after these hitters. And that wasn't the best pitch for the strikeout there. And he'd probably admit that, but he got it by him. Smith watches that one for a strike. Standing in here with one down. And it's even up. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. Left-hand batter waits. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. One down, base is empty. Chases that one out of the zone and two away now. Well, that was a tough slider right there. He couldn't get a piece of it just to try to keep the at bat alive. And hitters will tell you that slider, when a guy's able to really tunnel the pitch where it looks like a fastball and then late has a really good bite, so tough to lay off of because you've made the decision. You don't want to get beat by a fastball. And then you swing and you miss. You go back to the dugout shaking your head. And first offering is fouled off. And he deals. He swings and fouls one off. Here's the 0-2. Down the line towards the corner. Betts makes the catch, and that'll do it. Mets go down quickly. Still no score. Welcome back. We go to the ninth. Here's a speed threat. Gavin Lux. You now this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base paths. Next pitch has popped up. One away. Got the pitch that he wanted just a little bit quick. Front shoulder open. Backside collapsed a little bit. And the launch angle, not where he needed it to be. So the lineup flips over. Here's Trey Turner for the fourth time tonight. That hits the dirt. 1 and 0. Oh. And there's the strike. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. He caught it behind his back. And very nicely done for the out. Here's Mookie now. Singing you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon, the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Out front and foul to the left side. The next pitch misses. Now two and two. That one hit to right. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that is that. A 9-1-2 scheduled to lead off the bottom of the ninth. And we still have no score. So the Dodgers have a new arm on the mound. Daniel Hudson. Number 41, Daniel Hudson. Back here at City Field. And here's the catcher, James McCann. For the, the catcher, James McCann. pitch and that one just misses 
A ball and no strikes. The Dodgers bullpen with some action. Lake Trinan looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Garcia getting cranked up as well. The 1-0. And McCann fouls it off. Right-handed reliever, and a swing and a miss. One out, bottom of the ninth. Well, oh, that high four-seam fastball has become such a great pitch for pitchers to finish hitters off. They're trying to stay back with two strikes, make sure that they can handle something off speed, and just with good spin rate, good rotation through the zone, elevate it a little bit, get a lot of swings and misses, and that's a really nice job right there. Now it's going to be Brandon Nimmo. And that's in there for strike one. Two. And there's a ball. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. And the right hander deals. Check swing, no appeal. Gosh, Boog, I think he's trying to deep the pitcher. There's no way he's thinking he can hit that pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Next one misses, and it's three and two. Back to work, three two now. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Kicks and deals. And there's a foul ball. Grinding A-B right here. About to see pitch number 10. Next offering is fouled back. And the pitch. Stays alive. Three balls, two strikes, the count. Out towards right center field. Betts is on the move. And there's two away. So digging in, Starling Marte. comes a pitch there's the strike they only say it's the best pitch in baseball strike one you get ahead on a good hitter as well he's a little bit more confidence to move to the at bat trying to send this extra innings that misses the zone and the count even one and one all tied up here the last half of inning number nine swing and a miss and the count one and two One, two now. And that one just missed off the outside edge. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. Popped up to the left into foul ground. 
And that is the inning. Nothing doing for the Mets. And we're still knotted at zero. So they turn to Edwin Diaz out of the pen. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Back here at the ballpark. On to extra innings. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. When you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. And that one fouled off. Left-hand hitter waits. And a foul ball. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Breaking ball inside. Now one and two. Next offering is fouled back. And the righty deals. Out towards center. Nimmo makes the play, and there's one down. Now batter. The first Max Muncy at the dish. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. But we see more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Guys become defensive, and all of a sudden, for the hitter, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you... And the throw to first is there to put an end to the inning. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here, and we are still scoreless. And welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And stepping in for New York, Francisco Lindor. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond. And this guy is at the top of the list. There's a strike. Righty to the plate. And that one off the outside edge. And another ball. They get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there's some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. Next pitch has popped up. Taylor makes the play, and there's one down. Now back, first baseman. Pete Alonso up now for the Mets. This guy with light tower power. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Hudson back to work. And that's downstairs and outside. All tied up and here in extra innings. Swing and a miss. And the count one and one. Next pitch misses. Two and one. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss right there. Two one pitches in there, and the count is even. Well, I think that pitch surprised all of us. Right down the middle, doesn't get a swing. Not very often you see a hitter lay off a cookie like that. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. He's got it. There's two away. 
And next for the Mets, Mark Canna. The pitch. And takes low for ball one. All tied up here in extra innings. That one misses. Ball two. That's out to center field. Bellinger drifts towards it. Drops into the glove. And that is that. Down in order go the Mets. Still no score. 11th inning set to get underway. Here's the third baseman, Justin Turner. The right-hander back to work. And first offering is fouled off. And here it comes. Swing and a miss. Oh, a two down. It's been a tough day at the plate. Three strikeouts already. It's hard not to think negative, but you got to find a way to somehow center up the baseball and put it in play. And there's a base hit. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Go ahead, run on base. Bellinger up to hit. The pitch. Trying to move him over here. McNeil. Now the throw to first on the run. Out on a bang bang play, but he made it close. The batter number three. Second base. At the play, Chris Taylor. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, Pogue, not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at-bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. One out. The go-ahead run is at second. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. At the belt and fires. Pitch misses. Going to count one and two. Hard hit, left side. Toss to Alonzo. Taylor out of the play. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. And now it's Gavin Lux. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Swing and a miss, 98 on the gun. Next offering is in for a strike. That slider breaking in can be a tricky pitch. If you don't finish it and have that bite at the end and it stays out over the plate, it can get hit a long way. Got it! That ends the frame. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. A new pitcher in the game, Alex Vesia. Number 51, Alex. All set for the bottom of the 11th. Now the third baseman, Eduardo Escobar. Well, one swing's a lot easier than getting two or three hits to win this ball game. You better believe he's going to be all in to hit the ball over the fence somewhere. First offering misses the mark. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. in the dirt and that's ball three and the pitch fouls one away and now three and two K 
kicks and fires. Outside corner got him looking. He can't believe it. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this oh, one. That was his third strikeout, and this one it. looking, obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. Now, Dominic Smith. And a pitch. The other way. Makes the grab, and there's two gone. And now, Jeff McNeil. And a pitch. And ball one. All tied up. We are in the 11th. Next offering is in for a strike. In there. And so now one and two. The pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Next pitch just misses, and it's two and two. Two two now, and a swing and a miss, and the inning is over. And the Mets go down one two three, and we're still knotted at zero. Back here in Queens, now it's the shortstop Trey Turner. The shortstop, Trey Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. Right-hander kicks, deals. Next offering misses down and away. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. In the air, right field. Brings it in. One up, one down. And now it's Betts. This is a true five-tool guy. Not very many of them out there, but when he's on the field, you can't take your eye off. And a ball and two strikes. Off the plate, two and two. Out to short, into the outfield, pace hit. Betts uses the speed, infield single. It's been a rough one for him so far at the plate, but that'll help. He pulled that one right in the direction of the shift in defense, but no one could make a play on it. I mean, that's his approach, and it's probably not changing. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. One down, runner at first. Freddie Freeman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Now Matt Barnes takes over. Now pitching for the Mets. Number 32, Matt Barnes. Here comes a pitch. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. The pitch. And now it's even up. Next offering is in for a strike. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's two away. 
Typically that high fastball, if it's close to the top of the strike zone, a hitter, if he's prepared for it, can get to it. But that one just had that little jump at the end, which indicates there's a good spin rate on it, and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's internal clock would expect it to, and that's why you see the swing and miss. Muncie in the box now takes a cold strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. They get the force, and that'll do it. One run can win this thing as we move ahead to the bottom of inning number 12. And we still have no score. Welcome back. Here's the catcher, James McCann. Here we go. For the net. And here it comes. Off the plate inside. And that's ball one. Kicks and deals. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger. And perhaps the best pitch you'll see in this at bat to hit. And now the lefty. And now two and two. And he deals. Line to left. Lux brings it in. One down. The center fielder, number nine. Back to the top of the Mets order. Brandon Nimmo up now for the Mets. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is that I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. The pitch. And he pumps it a strike. And a 2 1 on the way. And this is inside. That pitch in for a strike. Counts full 3 and 2. Lifted in the air, right center field. Calls it in, two away. Now and now the right, right fielder, field. Starling Marte. The pitch. Inside, just missed. Next offering is in for a strike. That one's in there. It's a ball and two strikes. One and two here. That one drilled left field. Lux makes the catch, and that'll do it. Mets go down quickly, and we are still scoreless. Back here at the ballpark, and now the catcher comes up to him. Will Smith. And the right hander back to work. That one at 95 missed up top. And a base hit on the line. All over that one right there. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Here's Turner now.
Barnes back to work. And a sack bunt here. Alonso tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. And Turner is retired. Here's Cody Bellinger. Listen, there's absolutely no reason to pitch to this guy right here. You nibble, you see if he'll expand his zone, but don't give him any intentional walk coming here, and that sets up the double play possibility with one away and runners at first and second. How big a deal is that walk? I don't think it's a big deal because if you pitch to the previous hitter with the power he has, he can hit a home run. I think it was a calculated walk. We'll see how it pays off here. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. That one ripped, and that's a base hit. And they hold the runner at third, but the bases are loaded now with one out. Just a huge at bat right there. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. The Mets with a new arm on the mound, Seth Lugo. The bases are loaded, so no time to settle into this one. Lugo. And now it's Gavin Lux. That one pushed foul. And the right hander deals. Got a good eye there. Lots of anxious fans in the ballpark right now. You can feel it. Next pitch is downstairs. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Right side. Marte makes his way towards it. He's in on the sacrifice fly, and it's 1-0. Back to the top of the Dodgers order. Trey Turner steps to the plate for the Dodgers. In the center. Nimmo makes the catch, and that'll do it. And now this crowd, after grinding it out this long, finds their club down to their final three outs. It's the Dodgers one, and the Mets nothing. To the mound now, they turn to Blake Trinan. And he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. And welcome back. We're in extras here. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. Well, both sides equally as strong. So not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. First pitch, and he just misses. These home fans, they are making a lot of noise, putting pressure on that pitcher out there. Next offering is down low. And now 2-0. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Well, an interesting situation. One swing, you can tie up the ball game. But if you're patient and work a walk, then you bring the game-winning run to the plate. That one in for a strike, 2-2. Two and two. Two two now. Stays alive. The tying run at the plate. Way inside gets out of the way. Payoff pitch. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. And that one is off the wall. 
Betts quickly gets it back in as the tying run is forced to stop at second. No, no that at bat had a lot riding on it. Certainly a pivotal swing of the bat in this ball game. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. And now a crucial opportunity to tie up this game with another base hit. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonso. And a pitch. There's the strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Squirts away a little bit. No advance. Good job behind the dish. So the tying run at second. Strike three. Got him swinging. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout. And there's one away. Really nice execution of the cut fastball right there. Similar to how you might throw a two-strike slider, start it middle away, and let it break and take over that outside corner of the plate. But sometimes with the cutter, you just don't know how much it'll move. I think he's good, but I think he was also a little lucky right there. Here's Mark Canna. Next pitch downstairs. And that is ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. Next offering misses. Two and one. Close, but call the ball. And that's ball three. Right field down the line, and that one slices foul. And the pitch. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, a breaking ball in that 3 2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. Eduardo Escobar, El Caballo up to it. And a pitch. That's through there for a strike. There it was, a high-velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. Here's a 1-1. Down the ball here, rolls foul. Well, the hitter's got his timing down for the breaking ball. If you're a pitcher, if you can get that fastball in on the hand, it's going to be very difficult for that hitter get the barrel to it next one just misses it's two and two righty delivers And it's just foul. That was close. Left-hand batter waits. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. You're always having a tough time getting a pitch by him. As a hitter, you feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. Next offering is fouled back. Big spot, tying and winning runs aboard with one down. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Winning run is at first here in the bottom of the 13th. Swing and a miss, and he got him. That's out number two. Now it's Dominic Smith. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion, and he's in full speed. So now with one swing, 
This guy can end it. Oh, well, they're applying pressure, quality at bats, quality swings right now, and see this offense doing it, one man to the next, showing a lot of fight right now, and they're making it difficult for the back end of this bullpen to close out this game. He'll squeeze it for the final out, and the Dodgers strand the go-ahead run to hold on for the win. So the New York Mets notch the first win in this league championship series as they take game one. Yeah, it's a big step, but there's still plenty of work to do. They're going to need strong pitching in game two to keep this thing going. But this is a big boost to get off on the right foot for sure. And on the other side, you could argue the next game becomes almost a must-win situation. Yeah, the last thing these guys want to do is go down 2-0 right off the bat. Not impossible to bounce back from that, but man, it's a pretty dire situation to find yourself in. baseball fans and welcome MLB the show brings you the National League Championship Series it's the Los Angeles Dodgers going up against the New York Mets John Shambi alongside Chris Singleton and a lot riding on this one as these teams meet for game two Chris well winning game one on the road was huge Boog, and they can put a stranglehold on this series with the win here in this one and that's obviously the goal. You want to go back home up 2-0 with a chance to wrap up the series in your own ballpark for sure. And if it goes the other way and the series gets the 1-1, it's a total reset as we change venues for the next three games. And we'll be back for the first pitch right after this. So two down. Here's Max Muncy. That funky Muncy. Well, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. And it goes just foul. Right into the plate. Swing and a miss. That is strike two. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. The next offering misses. One and two to count. Turner over at second. Freeman on at first with two down. Next offering is down low. Hard hit, left field, base hit. Here comes the runner. He scores and they have the lead. One nothing. And he'll make it to second base with two gone. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, yeah. it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. And up to the plate is Will Smith. And he's already singled in this game. You'll want. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Next offering is foul back. Second and third, two down. Stays alive. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. Right side. Base hit. One run in already. Not in time. He's safe. Throw in holds that trail runner at third base. They're at the corners with two away. Love how he let that ball travel. Trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Now Justin Turner gets a chance to hit. The pitch. Puts it in the air out towards left center. And the inning is over. 9-1 and 2 scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. It's the Dodgers 2 and the Mets nothing. 
back here at City Field. James McCann in now. All these fans definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. The pitch. Rips that one center field, and it drops in, but a good job to keep it in front. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Just a very nice approach and swing right there to use the big part of the field. Everything was on time. He stayed balanced through the entire swing and just launched that one into center. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Here's Brandon Nimmo. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ball game. Next offering is in for a strike. There's a strike. At the belt and fires. At the ball. Two ball, two strike. In the dirt. Well done behind the dish. Rudder at first with no outs here. Going, the right? kick and the pitch. Runner goes. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Soft contact in the air. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. The right fielder. Here's Starling Marte. Starling. Marte. And the pitch. That one the other way. Base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. First and second, one out. Here's Francisco Lindor. And here it comes. Just missed. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. McCann on second. Marte at first. One gone. Next one misses. Two balls, no strikes to count. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. The next pitch misses, and now 3-0. Kicks and fires. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boo. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. Here's Pete Alonso. This guy with light tower power. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. Swings through that one. 0-1. These home fans, they are making a lot of noise, putting pressure on that pitcher out there. Here's your one. Just missed. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Left field. A big run scores on the sack fly and a 2-1 ball game now. Now batting, left fielder, Mark 
So first and second with two outs. Mark Canna up now for the Mets. The pitch. Down the middle for a strike. Strike one. So, Boog, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release point. Urias throws over. Marte dives back in. That one to first. Muncy handles. Muncy takes it himself. Inning ends, and that stops the bleeding. We head to the seventh now in game two. It's the Dodgers two and the Mets one. Back here in Queens, we go to the top of the seventh, and up to the plate comes Cody Bellinger. Foul ball. The wind of the pitch. Strike on the inside corner. And the righty deals. On the ground. Fires over to first. And they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. The wind of the pitch. Taylor up to the plate for the third time as he looks at that one down low. Rip, but it curls foul. One down, base is empty. And a count one and two. Right hander kicks deals. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Kicks and deals. On the ground to third. Rolls across the diamond. Taylor out of the play. And now here's a speed threat. Gavin. Outfielder Gavin Lux. The wide to kick the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Comes up empty on the swing. 0 oh, 2 now. And it's fouled away. Going two now. Good eye in that spot. Ground ball, Alonso. Alonso steps on the bag, third out, midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. It's the Dodgers two and the Mets one. Welcome back, and now it's switch hitting third baseman Eduardo Escobar. A lot of times you're looking for a guy to get that tie and run on base, but because of the power, you want him to tie up the game with one swing here. wonder how much of a distraction those fans behind home plate are to the opposing pitcher. I mean, they are into it. They're trying to will this claw back into this ball game. First off, oh, and it just misses. Definitely a frustrating day for the offense, but when they look at it, this guy's had his best stuff. Been painting the corners, working on the edges and changing speeds. Just a difficult one. You tip your cap. Activity in the bullpen for the Dodgers. Craig Kimbrell, the veteran right-hander, appears to be loosening up. Gonzalez, the left-hander, also throwing. Looking to get the tying run on base. That's towards center. Bellinger makes the grab.
Now batting. Now it's J.D. Davis. J.D. Davis. Here comes a pitch. That's down and in. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. offering popped in the air right field and there's two down and now here's Jeff McNeil and he deals that catches the zone for a strike and it's all in one that was just paint on the first pitch fastball Next offering is downstairs. The 1 1. Way inside, and that hit him. Well, nowhere to go on that one. Just squared him up right in the back. And here comes the Dodgers manager to the mound. Pitching change coming. Julio Urias done in this one. And as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. New pitcher for the Dodgers, Brewstar Grotterol, trying to protect this lead. Right now, they're looking for something hit hard into the gaps, give them an opportunity with two outs to score that run from first. And a pitch. McCann lets that one go for a strike. Third trip to the plate for him here. That misses. Ball one. That one missed. McNeil off of first with two away. Next offering clips the zone count even at two. Well, that's really the money spot. Down and away, if you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for guys to square that up. That's what you'd love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. Next pitch misses way outside. Three, two down. Swings and misses out number three. Mets leave one, and our score remains 2-1. Taking over on the mound for the Mets, Adam Adovino. And he'll do his best to keep this close. And welcome back. Now at the plate, Trey Turner. And a pitch. And that one is lifted in the air. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Here's Mookie Betts. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Next pitch misses. One ball, one strike. Well, now that this is a bullpen game, it's clear that whichever bullpen steps up the most is likely going to come away with the W. The 2 1. Rips one to right. Drops for a hit. He couldn't run it down. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Good piece of hitting going the other way with that pitch to beat the shift. You know, not a lot of guys are willing to do that. Even looks like they want to set up the double play. Intentional walk will make it first and second with one gone. Well, it doesn't get much easier with this next batter, but I totally understand going with the intentional walk in that spot. He's just too dangerous at the plate right now, and there's a base open, so it gives you options defensively to get an out. In the air, left field, Canna on his way over. Great effort as he's able to haul it in, and there's two away. No tag at second. He stays put with two away. So first and second with two outs. And here's the catcher, Will Smith. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. And a foul ball. And he'll one. 
looking for some insurance. Or as our friends down in the South would say, insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. Check swing. He went. And that is strike two. First and second, two down. Swing and a miss, struck him out, and that's the third out. Dodgers strand a couple as they're unable to add to their 2-1 lead. Back here at City Field, out of the bottom of the eighth, and stepping in is the speedy Brandon Nimmo. Now this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base paths. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Lake Trinan looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Gonzalez, the power lefty, up as well. Wow, just a beautiful backdoor slider right there. If you've got any chance of hitting that pitch, you have to wait until the absolutely last millisecond. Just a tough pitch to hit, and not an easy one to throw either. Next offering way off the plate. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. On the ground, out to short. Turner with the throw to first. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground. Nice ground out. Starling Marte up to him. Grotterol back to work. Pulls that one foul. And the right hander deals. And the slider just misses. Fastball almost got him there. Next pitch is downstairs. I played umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. The 3 1 in for a strike, full count. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3 2 pitch, and I'll tell you what, he earned that walk. With the right hander back to work. Lindor in the box now, takes a cold strike. Marte at first, one gone. Next offering is in for a strike. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Righty delivers. Just missing there. And the count one and two. One, two now. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Oh, he throws it away. They get it in quickly. So first and second now, one out. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. I mean, it's just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielder to how hard he hit it. A chance now to even the score and maybe extend this game. Here's some real power at the plate. Pete Alonso for the fourth time tonight pitch all one no strikes lots of anxious fans in the ballpark right now you can feel it and the 1 0 not close with that one and that's ball two Next pitch inside and now three and oh Boy, he never moved because he never had time to with that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. 
And a 3 0 finds his own. Cold night tonight, Boog, and that's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what, memories of getting jammed, they creep it into my mind right now. And that'll load the bases. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. So they turn to Craig Kimball. This won't be easy for him as he comes in with the bases loaded. Your attention, please. So bases loaded with one away. Now the left fielder, Mark Canna, one for three. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, Boog, not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. Next offering is in for a strike. Don't be surprised to ball on the ground to the corners if they come home with the baseball instead of going to first base. The pitch stays alive. Field two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. One out. The possible tying and go-ahead runs on base. That one fouled off. Right-handed reliever. Foul ball there. Offering misses, and the count is one and two. Righty to the plate, and that one wrapped foul. One out, the go ahead run is at second. One, two. Just misses with that one. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Two away. Well, this is where the team aspect really comes into play on the offensive now side of the game, right? I mean, missed opportunity to tie it up with the runner at third, one out, couldn't put the ball in play. So now it's time to pick him up. And that's where good teams, they go to. They operate on this level of next man up. That mentality is what causes them to win series, get into the postseason. That helps keep the energy and morale high in the dugout. The pitch. Escobar in the box now. Takes a cold strike. Strike two. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. I really think the outer half is open. Next offering is foul back. They say it went. To the play, safe, and we are tied, and they tie it late here in game two. Two down now, so now here's the Mets DH, J.D. Davis, and this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. And here it comes. That catches the corner. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. At the belt and fires. Two outs. Bases are full. 
quickly into an 0-2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to... And a swing and a miss. Huge strikeout there. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. On the mound now, Trevor May. He has a great slider with tons of movement. All set to start the ninth in this one. Justin Turner now. Here comes a pitch. Ball one low. Fouled off. He was late. And a 1-1. One -one. Out to center. Nimmo pulls that one down. And there's one down. Now that. One down, there comes Cody Bellinger. He's a big, strong guy, can untie this game with one swing. In there for strike one. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. 0-2 now. Stays alive. In the air, right field. Marte on the move. Squeezes it. And yeah, there's two away. Chris Taylor down. The pitch. Swing and a miss. And that is strike one. And fouled off. Oh, and two now. And down on strikes he goes. And that'll do it. 8 9 1 2 up in the bottom of inning number nine. We are tied 2 2. So the Dodgers have a new arm on the mound. Alex Vesia. Number 51. Back here at the ballpark, Jeff McNeil stands in. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. And what you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. Bullpen activity starting up now. Lake Trinan looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Hudson warming up as well. And a pitch. That one catches the corner for a strike. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. Next pitch is outside. Kicks and fires. Now Baldy stays alive. Towards first. And they get the leadoff man in the ninth. The catcher, number 33. Here's the catcher for the Mets, James McCann. And he deals. That one finds the corner. That's strike one. All tied up here in the last half of inning number nine. Next offering is down low. One one to McCann. And now two and one. Next offering is downstairs. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. Line drive, base hit. 
just a clutch at bat right there. Big time swing when this team really needed it. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Now, here is Brandon Nimmo. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. One down, winning run on first. Ball one there. The lefty ready, and a 1-1. There's the strike. And now two gone. So up next, Starling Marte. Starling Marte. And a pitch. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Lux puts it away, and that is that. Met strand one, and this game is still tied at two and two. Back here in Queens, all set for the start of the inning. Here's the left fielder, Gavin Lux. And a pinch. In for a strike, and that's strike one. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. And he beats the throw, he's safe. Boom, that's staying within his game right there. I mean, this speedster gets the infield single, and... Now he's on base to possibly do some damage. I love seeing what guys like this can do to disrupt the game once they get in a position to do so. And the batter now, Trey Turner. He's turned into one of the best shortstops in the game. First pitch, just misses. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. To first, not a time. So what started as a sack bunt ends as a hit with runners on first and second. Here's Mookie now. And first offering is fouled off. This couldn't have played out any better on offense. They were trying to trade it out to move the runner into scoring position, but instead they just couldn't make the play. Swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance. Pulls it in on the warning track. To third, not in time. And it's runners at the corners with one gone. Tried to take on the wind in left field right there. Just a little too much traffic up in the air. Mother Nature won that one. It's hard to say, but I think that might be gone otherwise. Intentional pass coming. Base is now loaded, though it does set up a force at every base. And now it's Max Muncy. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. Muncy hits one in the air. Canna settles under it. He scores on the sack fly. It's 3-2. Will Smith will hit next. The pitch. Just off the outside edge. Turner, the lead runner at second. Freeman at first, two out of the inning. Next offering is in for a strike. So now one and two. Next offering upstairs. That's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Left field pretty well struck. And it's gone. He sends a rocket to left, and they throw three on the board. It's 6-2. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over-anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Here's Justin Turner. Here the right hander back to work. Rip to short. Lindor on to first. 
ends the inning after they racked up a bunch of runs. But four runs score in the inning, three coming right here on the three-run homer. It's now 6-2. They hand the ball over to a new arm, Daniel Hudson, and he'll work on holding this lead. Welcome back, and now the shortstop, Francisco Lindor. The Mets in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the lead off, man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. First pitch, and he just misses. So important for him to control the heart rate right now. He's got to go through the heart of this lineup. And a pitch. And there's a ball. Right-hander kicks deals. Big at bat right here. He did the team thing. Took until he got a strike. Now he's got to go to work. Shorten up that swing a little bit. Do whatever it takes to get on base. Next pitch is outside. For a strike, now it's three and two. Left hand batter waits. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Well, you put good velocity in the head of the hitter. He's got to get it ready early and then change speeds. Keep him off balance. That's the goal. Three, two. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play. The game plan that he's sticking to, he's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. The pitch. Alonzo in the box here, lets that one go for a ball. Activity in the bullpen. Lake Trinan preparing to come on if needed. Gonzalez getting loose as well. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. Right through there for a strike. Nobody out. Runner at first. And now the count is even. Line drive. Bellinger makes the grab. So up next for New York, Mark Canna. And here it comes. That's a strike going one. Ball in one now. Here's a strike. 95 of that one. 0-2 count. Both pitches on the inside part of the plate. Hitter is thinking, I don't want to get beat here. This is a good time for something off speed away. In the air to left center. Lux right there to make the grab. And there's two down. Mets down to their final out. Eduardo Escobar digs in now. Escobar. The pitch. Nope. And that one missing low. Just one out away. Try to close it out. Swings and pulls it foul to the right side. The pitch. Going to count one and two. He must have been looking for something else because he gave up on that pitch a little early. It was right down Main Street. Probably not going to see a better pitch to hit in this at bat. Just one strike away. And a swing and a miss. And that is the ball game. So the New York Mets are now in the driver's seat with a 2-0 lead in the series. Yeah, it'll be hard for him to not start thinking about the World Series, and maybe that's premature, but up 2-0 in a seven-game series, they got plenty of reasons to be confident. Yeah, and for a team that's in a 2-0 hole, 
they've really got their work cut out for them as we head to a new venue for the next few games.